Hey friends, this is Matt on your screen here with my second video and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the feature on your screen right now which is the creepy looking weird blinking eyes thing on the second screen of the LG V10. If you haven't seen my first video, this method will use the same process um, which is through Nova Launcher. Uh, follow along and enjoy. So back to unlocking this hidden settings menu on your phone. The first thing you're going to do is add a widget to your home screen. You want to select the activities widget from Nova and just place it anywhere. Automatically a list will come up of all the activities installed from all the apps on your phone. Simply scroll down most of the way to the letter S where you'll see signboard test. Tap that and a sub menu will appear with one option which is the signboard test main activity. Hit that one and it will create a widget on your home screen which allows you to access that activity. So tap on that widget and a menu will come up. Now we'll go through all of these uh, from top to bottom. They're not all super exciting, but uh, I'd like to show you basically what they can do, what to do and what to avoid. So the top option, uh, signboard service, basically gives us a list of toggles. Uh, these don't do much except deactivate your second screen until you reactivate them and they're not even persistent, so it's not very useful. Uh, the bottom option, which you can tick, um, is persistent, but I'm not sure what that actually does. Um, so try that if you want. The next thing we'll try out is sample runs, which brings up a sub menu. Um, we'll tap on the first one, which is event listener test. And you'll see here that we come up with a list of um, different tests for the second screen. Now, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see something that says, yes, sir. Just tap that once. And this is basically what you've been waiting for. It's the weird eyes up the top of the second screen. Um, they will stay on, as you can see, even when the screen's locked. Um, the only time they disappear is if you tap on yes, sir, again, or if you restart your device. The rest of the options here are pretty much as useless as that. But one thing that did jump out to me is the second from the bottom, seek bar notification. Um, I was hoping that enabling that would allow you to uh, bring up a seek bar that would actually allow you to control music. Um, so the seek bar does appear, but using it with music playing through the default app doesn't change anything. So hopefully that's something that LG is working on to bring us um, in added functionality for Marshmallow, um, which hopefully is quite soon. Now the other buttons here basically just allow you to test your second screen by sending you fake notifications. Some of them um, are a bit buggy and will stay in, stay in the second screen. If that happens, just give your device a reboot and it should fix that. Now remember that we're in a sub menu right now. The rest of the options here don't really do anything. Um, so we'll head back up to the main menu of this app. So into notification config, you'll see that it says scale rate um, and the default is 0.722. Basically, you can change this and it makes notifications bigger or smaller. Um, there really isn't a reason why you'd want to, but go ahead, check it out, um, mess around with it but you'll probably want to take it back to that default. The second option which you can change is display duration. And this is actually quite useful. I think it should be built into the regular settings of um, the phone because what it allows you to do is change how long notifications actually stay in the second screen when you um, receive them. So if you find that you're receiving messages and can't read them in time before the notification disappears, you can actually increase that time. Be aware that um, the end user isn't expected to have access to all of these settings, um, including all of the settings in other activities uh, that you can access through Nova. So be really careful when going through. Um, and if you don't want to take responsibility for anything that might screw up from doing this, then just avoid it completely. Feel free now to check out my previous video, which was the uh, fingerprint scanner um, bypass and my next video, which I'll put out within the next few days, which will show you some cool, interesting, and some useless things that you can activate using this method. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. This has been Matt on your screen.